Developing tonight, a week-long search for two missing teenagers has ended in the family's worst fears coming true. The Indiana couple, 18 and 19 years old, were found dead. CBS 2's Chelsea Irving is live in the newsroom with who is being charged with their murders and what may have led to the killings. Chelsea. Jim, friends tell us Thomas Grill and Molly Lanham were an on-again, off-again couple. They were known to take road trips. So at first, people weren't that worried. Even police last week told us they had not suspected foul play. Molly Lanham and Thomas Grill were last seen February 25th. Police put out a missing persons alert along with a description of their vehicle, a 2012 Honda Civic. The pair was believed to be either in Valparaiso or New Lenox. But that search has now ended, and a 17-year-old suspect is being held at the Porter County Jail in Valparaiso. I just thought he was smart enough to get out of that. Alex Bautista was Thomas Grill's best friend. He says Thomas recently got off house arrest for charges relating to drugs. We found this Lake Superior Court complaint against Grill, referencing a Smith & Wesson handgun and detailing his arrest by the Lowell Police Department last April when police found Grill with large amounts of marijuana and pot edibles in the trunk of his car. That car, police say, has now been found burned out in the southern part of Porter County. They are not saying if the teens were near the car or how they died. In fact, releasing no details about their murder. So you think he got mixed up with the wrong people? I think so. And then it was just, from there, it just went downhill. It's not like he wanted to do it. It was just that, like, he was kind of lost. He didn't know what else to do. We did reach Molly Lanham's mother and her sister today. Both said they were too upset to make any comments. Grill's friend told us Molly was a sweet and loving girl and was not at all involved in any criminal activities that Grill may have been caught up in. The Porter County prosecutor is saying very little in terms of the details on this case, but we are expecting to learn much more tomorrow when the suspect is charged. In the newsroom, Chelsea Irving, CBS 2 News. Jim, back to you. Chelsea, thank you.